every watchman needs to hear this creep from the god servant apostle Adami osai all right uh, this is motoka tv as you're listening to it may god almighty bless you amen there was a certain woman that had an ailment called a strange kind of ailment the ailment the woman was a barometer are you with me that revealed the state of a certain church if the spiritual capacity of the church begins to appreciate the woman will become healed she'll become well do you understand that and when the spiritual capacity of the church begins to de decline she start becoming sick her liberty was tied to either the alignment of the church or the disalignment of the church if you want to know if the church is aligned just check the woman's health do you understand that? And it came to pass that three witches were posted into that church. And the watcher of the church died at the age of 96, having served for 52 years as a veteran watcher. A vacuum was created in the congregation that nobody could feel. It was at the instance of the death of this watcher that three witches were introduced into the church. Guess what happened? Your guess is as good as mine. The woman, a strange ailment <laughs> came upon the woman and unfortunately she died because the kingdom of darkness took over. There was a functionary that was quietly functioning, operating, that was responsible for the survival of that church. The purpose of the church was locked on his activities, even though his activities were not as prominent as that of the pastor. God will need to wait to, on your family until a watcher arises, then his chances of influencing that family will be increased. I pray you will give God in your act of watching the much needed earthly permission for heavenly interference. This is a special kind of watchman. Especially if you are into pastoring, you are laboring over the lives of people, and you, you are already a watchman. You know, I said, watchmen are prophets. Watchmen are intercessors. Watchmen are prophetic people. I need to say something about the prophetic. Just like Pastor Abike was saying when he was leading prayers. If you become serious about your prayer life, just like some of us have decided to be serious, and you are consistent in praying, consistent in fasting, consistent in praying, consistent in fasting. A time will come, God will begin to send the intelligence your way. That means your spiritual senses will be activated. You'll be able to see in the realm of the spirit as the Lord wills. You'll be able to hear in the realm of the spirit as the Lord wills. You'll be able to perceive in the realm of the spirit as the Lord wills. You'll be able to understand things that you were not taught as the Lord wills. You will know things that you did not learn as the Lord wills because every intercessor that becomes consistent is conscripted into the duty of watching. And everything that God wants to do must be midwifed by a watcher. And just in case you're in politics, there is so much need for watching in politics because most of the people you are contending with are, have ranking with the devil. Most of the people that you are trying to achieve some stuff with have their hands in mysteries of darkness. And so you are supposed to dust your prayer mat and get ready for the watches. There is a guarantee that you have when you sign up to become a watchman God is under obligation to give you spiritual intelligence. The man Mordecai was in his place doing his natural work. He was doing his job. Please help me tell your neighbor there's a difference between your job and your work. For instance, your job pays salary. Your work pays reward. Still preaching. You are still preaching. You are still preaching.
the motivation for your job is money. The motivation for your work is purpose. In the Garden of Eden, God gave Adam not a job, but work. Preach, preach. And the reason why I'm making you preach is because if you get a job with Zenith Bank, don't think that is your purpose. It's your job. I've seen several people in Lagos. They wake up 5 a.m. in the morning, hop on the bus, and they get to Victoria Island and get, get back home 11 in the night, and they do that for 27 years, do that for 34 years, <laughs> and then they go to jo uh, church as a culture. And they believe they are doing something great. You... <laughs> The systems of this age are helping to waste your potential. Mordecai was assigned to the gate of the king, but he knew his work. His job was a security personnel, but his work was the work of a watchman. It was because of his work that he tore his garments and wore sackcloth and ashes. Not because there was strike. Not because his salary was delayed. Oh my God. Are you with me? Okay. So, the, his salary was coming. He was still effective on his job. But he did not forget what? His work. He had earned laurels, laurels in the kingdom where he served. And there were opportunities for him to have been redeployed from the gate. He insisted that his position would be where? The gate. Why? Do you still remember? Do you remember? Or you don't? I, don't? I don't think you do. Because in the culture of the Israeli people, what we call our Senate today, House of Assembly, places where decisions are made that are bind, binding on the populace. What we call, do you understand that? The House of Representatives is at the gate. That's where elders gather to take decisions that are binding on people that are in the city. Are you with me? So now that we're in a situation that was not Israel. But the man maintained the culture. He was an elder in his time. So he preferred the gate because of the significance of the gate. Even though he had opportunities to have been redeployed, he remained there because it reminded him of the strategic position of the elders at the gate. I don't have time to take you to the book of Lamentations where we see an obituary of a civilization, an obituary of a city. Part of the indicators of the obituary of, his, of the city was that the elders have ceased from the gate. It means they had no house of assembly anymore. They had no senate anymore. So any man could do what he wanted to do. There were no laws that re regulated the activities of people. Because that government at the gate was no longer in place. That's part of what constitutes the obituary of what? Oh, you are not with me. Oh. <laughs> can we talk deep we can't talk deep here oh my god because you are already fainting I'm seeing some people they are, the blood pressure is going on the man stayed by what the gate you need to be a Jew to know the meaning of that he stayed where now the point is this it doesn't matter if you are in Zenith Bank you work for you are the special assistant to the, to the governor on religious matters, on traditional matters, that's your job. But you need to maintain your assignment at the gate. You are one of the people that should take, make legislations that will govern the city where you dwell. We have such authority as watchmen, but you cannot function as a watchman until God gives you the grace to be able to perceive and what Mordecai perceived was the plan that the enemy had that he wanted to implement upon the Jews. I need to ask some of you. Are you here? If you had a way to bug your enemy's cell phone so that when he picks a call, you'll be hearing on the call. And then you found out that your name was discussed. That in the night, 
close to the suya joint because you are, you are overtaken by suya. And you need to visit the suya joint every night. It's like a spell was cast on you. And you need to visit the suya joint. And a plan has been made to waylay you by the suya spot. Even if the demon of suya had possessed you, because of that intelligence, what will you do? So if you have access, <laughs> hallelujah, if you have access to intelligence that concerns the plans of the enemy, it gives you an opportunity to plan against it. Yes. Part of the reasons why some of the things the devil plans come so part, they are shooting the arrow. They shot it. They took six months to create it because the Bible says no weapon. Form. Weapons are formed. So they checked your lifestyle. Checked the things you love. Check that you like red wine that is 4% alcohol content. They checked your liberties. They checked your idols. And then formed a, a, a weapon that was consistent to all those indices pertaining to your life. You see, weapons that are formed in the kingdom of darkness are idiosyncratic. They are particular. They are specific to the object matter. So a weapon designed for you will not work for me. So the devil is into custom building of weapons. Oh my. Nobody can be as wise as a hunter. Because the hunter doesn't put the prey on notice before he comes to hunt. In fact, it's the prey's carelessness that I'm free, I'm in liberty, that makes it vulnerable to the intelligent attempts of the hunter. But the watchers that have grace to perceive what is going on in the kingdom of darkness, they also have plans against the plan of the devil. Just like the devil builds a siege, you can also build a siege against the siege of the devil. If we have intelligence that will give us time to plan for the devil, you will see that the devil is not so strong. He takes advantage of the fact that you are not conscious of what is going on. So part of what God empowers us to watch about is to watch the activity of the enemy. Are you still with me? Mordecai did what? Passy. So I just came back for a, from a session of prayer myself. And I've already picked up a few points that the devil wants to achieve around my life. The first thing he wants to achieve is to get a false preacher to invite me to preach on his platform. The reason what the devil wants to achieve is to, is, to, is to corrupt, is to contaminate our convictions which we have carried for so many years. We have slaved because of our convictions. We have been insulted because of our convictions. People called us Jew because of our conviction. People say we are proud because of our convictions. So our convictions happens to be the meaning of our existence. Now he has seen how tenaciously we are willing to hold on to integrity. And he wants to do a fast one. You know what? It's only if you have a, an appetite that is not regulated by the Holy Ghost that Satan can win on your case. If you, if you cannot... Um, if you see every invitation as an opportunity, one day you'll be preaching with the devil's microphone. <laughs> Are you with me? Second thing the devil wants to achieve is to create... A, an accusation about me in 2022 that we make waves. Do you understand that? Now, listen, you are not with me. You know anybody anywhere can come and say, Hey, you're a bad man! Is that possible? It's not possible. You have not traveled long. It's in the desert you've been walking, not on the highways. Because there is, a, even spiritually, Satan is an accuser. Oh, okay. Let me now take you. What I'm saying is, I've checked and I've heard the whispers of the enemy and the plans he has concerning my life. So I've also made plans. If it's only the devil, <laughs> for many of us, it's only the devil that is planning because you are oblivious. Of the plans of darkness. I have made plans also. And in keeping with my plans. The invitations I'm going to accept in 2022. Are only from genuine men of God. 
men that if I go before God, God says, yes, my son. Then I'm willing to respond to those invitations because I have received the intelligence about the intention of the kingdom of darkness. Do you understand it? Part of the reason why God raised us as a ministry to raise the standard, to establish a plumb, a pl an apostolic plumb line. The body of Christ, we have wizards as pastors. We have former practitioners of divination on, with suit on the pulpit trying to speak English. We have evil men saying Jesus. And they will not leave the name of Jesus. Do you understand that? So God, the, the cure to it is that God will raise original people that have not bowed themselves to the God of the age, the God of mammon, the God of performance, the God of lies. People that are in active service with the Lord. And when you see them, you will know the difference. Are you with me? And so the devil will fight to corrupt that possibility. Just like the kingdom of darkness wanted John the Baptist out of the way because he was the only one that, that stood for the truth. His voice was not bought. If you don't know what Satan wants to achieve around your life, you will play into his arena. So the first thing that God raises a watchman to discern is to know the plans of the kingdom of what? All right, thank you. And I hope that uh, this clip really blesses and transforms your life. If you do, don't forget to hit that subscription button and turn on your notification so that you will not miss any of our daily upload. Once again, don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe. Until then, may God almighty bless and keep you. Amen.